zines. You've heard of them, and if you're a part of the creative community or just enjoy reading in general, you've probably been exposed to one at some point in your life. Zines are at their very essence independently created and published magazines that tell niche stories for niche audiences. Historically, they have been the platform that the counterculture used to freely share ideas. From the her zines of the 1930s to the underground punk rock zines of the 80s and the feminine manifestos of the 90s, zines have influenced creative culture and society as a whole for decades. They disseminate the voice of people under oppressive rule, they inspire people to take a stand through their art, and have a really unique way of building community. This month, we're going to be talking about zines and their latest rendition, the digital zine, and how you can utilize the concept as a form of self-expression or promotion for your creative work. Whether you are an artist and illustrator looking to showcase your work, a designer who wants to create a unique portfolio, or someone with a bigger creative idea wanting to bring it to life on pages with a team of fellow creatives, this class is for you. I've done a lot of creative work over the last 15 years, but some of my most memorable experiences were during my time publishing my indie zine, Half Stack Magazine. What started off as a fashion project launched into a six-year self-directed creative journey showcasing the best of indie Chicago creatives in fashion, art, and music. I did this alongside some of the most creative and inspiring Chicagoans, people that I call friends, and that included photographers, artists, writers, graphic designers, stylists, makeup artists, fashion specialists, and so much more. Hi everyone, if this is your first class with me, welcome. If you are a returning student, welcome back. I'm Jen and I will be guiding you through this creative course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you want to learn more about me, you can visit me online at www.bellasophiacreative.com and you can also check out my YouTube channel, The Freelance Life. There you'll get a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a creative freelancer and educator, as well as access to a huge library of additional free tutorials relating to art, design, and illustration. I'm a huge advocate for sharing knowledge in really accessible ways and I found that online courses and places like YouTube are great for this and they help me to connect with a really diverse group of people who are looking to learn something new and who are looking to grow. So in today's class, we're going to be learning about and designing our own digital zine. I published the indie creative Chicago focus zine Half Stack for six years. And today I'm going to share more about that journey, offer some insights on designing and creating for zines and show you how you can make your own zine using Affinity Publisher and the online platform issue.com. So what is this class about? In this class, we will be creating a digital zine that features personal work. This can be used as a portfolio piece, and it can also be a really great item to use when pitching for clients. I'm going to walk you through the process of designing and launching a digital zine using Affinity Publisher and the online platform issue.com. Before we get into the nitty gritty of designing though, I'm going to share more about zines, the history of zines, and the evolution into digital zines. I will share my personal zine story and utilize the indie zine that I launched half stack as a case study. I'll offer insights on collaboration as I worked with what started off as three people and that eventually evolved into working with over 20 creatives for six years. We will review the importance of having a concept and inspiration focus to guide the creative decisions you make. Then we will talk about creative direction and designing your zine right before we jump into layout design in Affinity Publisher. Even if you're not familiar with Affinity Publisher, I will make sure you feel comfortable working in the software and walk you step by step through the process of laying out your pages. I will touch a bit on using mockups to display your artwork, typography, and concepts behind grid design. Then I will walk you through the process of uploading your zine to issue.com. So who is this class geared towards? This class is geared towards anyone interested in learning how to use Affinity Publisher to design their own digital zine. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, this course will go through all the steps necessary to launch your zine online so that you can showcase your work to the world in a fun and creative format. 